Okay, so this is Minion. He is my three and a half year old Maltese. And he is not neutered. And I am very ashamed of that. It is in the making. Sorry, guy. Um, so the whole green thing. My disclaimer is that he, um, he started developing this problem at the very first week in October, around the 3rd. I started noticing severe staining around his eyes. He was not dyed until the 27th of October. And so that has nothing to do with it. It was a pet safe dye. I don't even want to talk about that. So what I want to show you in this video is what we're going to do to take care of him on a daily basis until we figure out what the underlying problem is going on with this eye staining. And should we do that right now? And it's only been two days since I cleaned his eyes and I got very busy yesterday and wasn't able to do that. So. I don't know if you can see how bad his eyes are. They're really, really dark, dark brown. And we're going to fix that. And we're going to show you how we go about doing that. So what I like to do is get a cotton ball, very warm and wet, and soften the eye matter. It's kind of a messy job, so you want to make sure you have a towel or a space that you can work in. That, oh, you can even see the eye matter falling from his face. So I like to just make sure that I have a space to work in that, you know, it's not going to matter. <laughs> matter, no pun intended. So then I leave that sit for a little bit, and then I let him play or eat or whatever, and then I come back to it. Because you don't want to be pulling stuff out that isn't, isn't ready to come out. So then after the eye matter has been soaking it in plain water, I'm not a fan of using peroxide or anything else um, because that's just going to mask the problem. What I'm going to do is take a flea comb, which is a comb that has very fine teeth, and I'm just going to try to work this out a little bit. And if it comes out freely, then we're good to go. If it doesn't, like on this side, it's still sticking, I'm going to take another warm cotton ball full of just plain water and soften it just a little bit more and give it time to sit and let it soften up that eye matter. So after I get the other side all softened up I'm gonna make sure that all the eye matter is clear of the face and then I'm going to take some gauze and just wipe it dry. And like I said, he's still going to have this eye staining until we figure out what the underlying problem is. And he's going to feel like such a, not such a fancy Maltese, but we're going to figure it out. And every day, we're just going to keep this, this area clean and keep him from developing an infection from all the bacteria. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode of Minion's Journey to Eye Health. Yay!